All right, now we're going to rationalize these fractions. And in other words, we just want to get rid of the imaginary number in the denominator. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can just multiply top and bottom, so numerator and denominator, by i. So let's see what's going to happen here. So we get negative 3i all over negative 2 times i squared. Okay, so we know that i squared is negative 1, right? Since i is just the square root of negative 1. So we're going to get negative 3i over negative 2 times negative 1. Okay, so we're, we're going to end up with negative 3i. Negative 2 times negative 1 is just 2. So that's it. That will be equivalent to negative 3i over 2. Then how about number 2? Here we have negative 7 over negative 4i. So again, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by i. Negative 7i all over negative 4 i times i will be again i squared. And we already know that i squared is negative 1. There we go. So here we're going to have negative 7i. Negative 4 times negative 1, positive 4. That's it.